Or I was to do it, Jordan would condemn me. Jordan would condemn me. Jordan would say to me, brother, what are you doing? This is not Islam, right? So, and, and that's how we should be with our principles. So, when you say to me, why would you want to talk to me? I believe that the, the door for guidance, the door for uh, discussion is always and again, open. Under the Dara Wise channel that I saw the video put up, the comments, the initial comments under the video were really good. They were, you know, they were admiring Mansur for what he did, saying that he did the right thing and that it was a good Islamic thing to do. Very, very praiseworthy. Then, when I looked the next day, there was a whole different shade of comments that came in, which was basically along the lines of Steve Desir deserved it, yeah. if I'd been there and yeah. I'd joined in, yeah. Mansur shouldn't have wasted yeah. his yeah. time, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. Um, and I think those comments are still there, yeah. but you know, maybe the, the channel has a policy of not doing First of all, comments, Steve, if you those comments... Like no, 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 but hold on. No, no, if those comments were made, those yeah, comments we're, are... We're, no, we're, no, 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 but if those comments were made, those comments are wrong, right? Uh, as a Muslim, uh, uh, well, you know, we, we get many comments. I mean, Ali Dawa has basically had the police contact him that there are groups organising to stab you, basically to kill you. I've had death threats because, oh, you know, uh, you criticise Anjum Chowdhury. Oh, I'd like you to do that in a Muslim country. You know, I'd like to see you do it there. You, you know, you, and they, they give you death threats. There are nutcases out there. Social media, unfortunately, is Whip full of nut, they're nutcases, yeah? yeah? Now, do I now think all atheists are like this? All Christians are like this? None of this conversation is about all Muslims. I understand, like but my point like to you, what, what my point to you, Steve, is this, yes? I at no, so you are, you, 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 you do have one narrative here, and it's something that I've not said at all. All. What's and that? your narrative is that don't blame all, all Muslims for that. No, 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 I'm not saying you I'm are. Not at one no, 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 point no, Steve. That. In fact, I've almost said the opposite no, by me questioning I understand. whether they are even I, Muslims. I understand, Steve, but my point to you is the fact that you those comments caused you concern to the extent that you've mentioned it, uh, you know, it, it is not something that is not common to all channels, all beliefs, whether political, whether religious or irreligious. So what you've raised to me is not specific to your case or a non-Muslim being harassed. This is unfortunately the case, the, the, the case where it's a general for all of us. We, we, we're harassed. Uh, you know, we, we, we're told he, he's called a traitor all the time. Right, you're a traitor, da, 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 all, sorts of, all sorts of horrible things. Probably you know they are. <laughs> 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 One of your white mates. <laughs> no, but all I'm saying. I, all thought, I thought you meant five uh, people that claim to be Muslim. But what Steve did say in this conversation, he did say that they're not really representing Palestinians and they're not really being Muslim. That's what you said. Yeah. yeah. Well, he did I, say that. I, yeah, 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 I said it last week. So, so I, I guess the question work. I would have is why, why do Muslims even need to say anything then? Why, why, I why, said, have yeah, I no, exactly, do. exactly. So the question I is, I, I wouldn't feel any need to go and speak to the Muslims. Muslim. But again, but you're both coming up with I know, I know, I know, I know, no, I'm just, I know, I know, but I'm agreeing with you. Maybe it's because you're used to people saying it. What's my narrative? What narrative? am I saying? That one Muslim does a bad act and all Muslims get blamed The thing is, Steve, we've had... And I've not no, even no, no, gone no, no, there no, no, and no. said that, and I've said the no, opposite. But we've had previous conversations where you have pushed a narrative that Muslims in the park, the Muslims need sorting out. You have pushed that. No, I, I have said... So now we're talking I, about... No, I have said over the last three or four years, most of the violence, the vast majority of the violence that's been corner has unfortunately come from people who identify as Muslims. Mm. And I don't think anyone could. You know, you know, you know, Steve. Even if you were to argue, no, that, that is, I, sorry, disagree. Okay, that, I, I that disagree. Is, yeah. I do disagree. I do disagree with that. I do disagree with that. Every Muslim is a, is no, but a violent. The, the Muslim part. violence gets highlighted as Muslim violence. The other violence doesn't get highlighted as Christian violence, atheist violence. No, so, so well, those very. Well, no, no, but people will be happily to say, "Look at that Muslim over there." If the, if the if the masked Palestinians were Christian, no one even mentioned their religion. You know, a, a very important I point. I know you haven't. I know you haven't. I like your change of behaviour. Steve, you're basically no, no. You know one thing I'd like to have only been covering for the last Steve, you know one thing I'd like to say on that point, yeah, and it's a very important point, and I don't actually hear many people actually raising it, yes? Even if you're correct about, about there being a, the greater no no a greater no. propensity. No, no, that's or, not what no, I said. No, 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 I'm just saying that, Okay, a greater volume of uh, uh, the violence, uh, violence let's say you're saying it happens from uh, Over the last three or four years, people yeah. who profess to be Muslims, yes? Yeah. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Oh, well, I say profess to be. I'll tell you why. Because many times we have people here, for example, who, uh, who say that they're ex-Muslims. And then when we question them on the very basic things about Islam, they, they have no clue 
and it turns out that they, they actually they weren't Muslim at all. So that's They're why not I say the violent ones. No, no, but my, listen, listen to my point, Steve, yeah? Well, you're making another point. No, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm going to refer to the exact point that you were making, yes? <laughs> if we have a situation, Jordan, yes, let's say where Arab countries were bombing Europe, Arab countries were uh, 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 putting pictures of Jesus and doing derogatory things, ripping off the crosses of Christians. Like, so again, like no, 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 no. No, 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 Steve, let me just, just, but, but we have to be really just, just, clear be, just bear with me, you Steve, please, please, the just bear, Steve, you'd like to conflate the fact that Hatoon has a Quran with holes in it, you'd like to conflate that no, no, with violence, no, no, Steve, let me, let me there, just make, Steve, let me just make my point, and then you can, by all means, I'll give you an opportunity to yeah, come back, you've been talking a lot more than I, I, I have been, and yeah. I'll give you a chance, yeah, uh, Jordan, so if we had Arab countries bombing Europe, ripping crosses off people, uh, doing all of these things, yes, now tell me, Jordan, in those countries, the Christian youths, hot-headed fools, would you have an element of those, some of those people, acting in a, in a, in a irresponsible, illegal, irrational, violent way? Would you? Of course you would, yes? Now, what do we have here now, Steve? We have, we have Muslim countries, Steve, right, around the world, being bombed. We have... Oh my God! We have we have uh, in France liberalism under under liberalism under under liberalism under liberalism yes where people should be allowed to explore whatever they want to explore do whatever they want to do over there. yes a little a little a little scarf a little scarf on your head. That way, that way. A, a little, a little, uh, a little scarf on your head, and it gets torn off. It's illegal. So you have this, you have this persecution of Muslim lands, of Muslim people, and even in this country, Steve. You might say freedom of speech, freedom of expression, yes. But in France, no, 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 no. But freedom of speech, freedom of expression, even if it's grotesquely designed to humiliate to, uh, to uh, insult somebody's beliefs, some, something that they hold pure, and then you're telling me, Steve... What was that, the quote that, from our judge? And then you're Without the right to offend, freedom of speech does not exist. Quote St from a Steve, judge, but the, 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 we, should, we should be very careful when we say these quotes. You know why? Because there are so many nuances to these uh, subjects which completely uh, are amiss. Yes? Now, Steve, you know, if you're walking down the street, and I insult your dog. Your dog, yes? And you could got angry. be my mother, I'm not going to punch you. No, your dog. My, you could be your dog. Could be my mother, could be, I'm still not going to be offended. Ah, but I'd Steve. No, no, but Steve. Well, Steve. Well, that would be wrong. Though, no, but Steve. Completely wrong Steve, you do. know and I know that there You've are. Never met my mother, you, you, so you know. A completely ineffective Steve, insult. Steve, you know and I know that there are lots of thugs out there who would punch you in the face. Muslim, are no, they? You. You're the one that's right. Saying. If I said it, right? So, 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 so. Basically, we know that thuggery, you know, illegal acts and people who are criminals, they exist out there. If I insult somebody's dog, if I insult somebody's football team in the wrong environment, I'll get my head kicked in. There are people out there who, unfortunately, not only have the propensity to, but are quite active in being violent and horrid, yes? So what we have to do as intelligent human beings is say like, you know what? We do give Muslims a really hard time, right? We've got people like Douglas Murray who are saying we should make life difficult for Muslims in Europe, right? If I said that about the Jews, right? I'd be arrested, I'd probably be put into prison because that's an incredibly, uh, you know, incredibly insightful statement, right? When it comes to violence, right? But you can get away with that about Muslims. Now, you have some hot-headed fools who react to all of this and they come down. Now, why would, really you, why would you... With why, all respect, you've not really... Why would you, to why would you accept any... Why would you... Why would you... Why would you... Why would you... Not you listen to a thing well, I've said. So what have I, not, what have I ignored? For the fact that I questioned from the outset whether they were even Muslim. No, I agree with You're you. You're trying to turn this into a don't tar, don't no, no. tar with the same brush or Muslim. Steve, I'm just... Notes, 
because that's the point you want to make. Steve, that's just... why you've dragged all the cameras. No, 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 over. I didn't drag anybody. Steve, the yes, point. You, did. The... you sent him over to send me over to you. I didn't come, so you no, came. No, 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 no. I, because I had an over. intention. I spoke to Jordan before I even came down. What did I say to you, Jordan? I you said, if, back, if Steve is there, I'd like to have a discussion with Steve about what happened and the fact that as, as Muslims. No, no, no. What's the purpose? To go talk on and on and on. No, 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 no. Are all, all Muslims with the same No, word. Steve, I'm only referring... That's what you've been I'm, talking about for no, the last half hour. I'm only referring to... Which this is odd, because that's something that I've not done and I've said Steve, the opposite. Steve, I'm so only... You then spend I'm only, I'm on, only referring on, to the statement you made it. about there being a greater propensity of Muslims behaving no, badly here. That's not a word. I said statistically, okay. over the last three or four okay. years... And I, what did I say to you? The majority. You? And what did that's I say not to saying there's a propensity amongst yeah. Muslims. No, what, You're completely misconstruing No, 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 I understand that. But what I'm trying to explain... use the right words, because the words you're using they're saying something very different. Okay, let me get, let me address that directly then. Yes, I think I, I think I did, but let me address it directly. When you completely humiliate a people and you humiliate, you try to humiliate their religion, you say derogatory. You, you derog. No, no, no. I'm not saying that at all. Come on, let's be let's be reasonable here, right? Okay. okay. Let's be. Let's be we, when you when when you, when you do that to a community, Steve. We recognise, and I hope you would recognise as well, that despite it being wrong. Despite it being wrong, there are always going to be a small minority of thugs, of fools, of idiots who are not going to be able to deal with that in a rational, logical, coherent way. What are they going to do? They're going to react just the same way when you have Manchester United playing, I don't know, Millwall or whatever, right? It kicks off. Why does it kick off? Because these are, these are thugs, until, right? Until Mansur very <laughs> positively stepped in two weeks ago. Yeah. Those idiots, as we've all agreed to them, have been coming here for three months, approximately. I've not seen anyone step in no, I, at any previous Well, moment. the thing is this, right? And I said, their behaviour two weeks ago wasn't okay. different yeah. to their behaviour the There's, 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 there's two things here. Number one, you're presuming nobody has spoken to them, just because you haven't publicly, seen it. Publicly. Well, publicly. But again, as I said to you, I, I've spoken to, I believe the same two privately. Uh, whether it's just before or just after the incident, regardless, I have spoken to those people, right? And today, we're, we're talking about it. This is public, right? We're, we're, we're going public with it. We're saying that they're wrong. And that, 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 and that, should, and that this, this shouldn't happen, right, Steve? But my, all I'm saying to you is that hopefully we can, in the future, because I don't want, as I said to you, I don't want to make this a point scoring exercise. I'm, I'm just simply set to say here that this was wrong. What was happening was wrong. If there's violence here, it is wrong. If, uh, if people who say that they're Muslims and they come here and they're violent, not only are they breaking the law, but they're breaking the Islamic law of behaving in that way, and they're hurting the dawah, because we are here to do, do dawah. Dawah is my point to invite, week. right? My point exactly. Week. How could anyone with half a brain think their behavior well, is serving any purpose Well, clearly, of clearly they don't have half a brain, and that's why they do what they do, right? <laughs> but, the, but the point I'm trying to hope uh, and, and this goes out as well is that we have lots of people with less than half a brain in all of our communities people have different triggers for some people it's football for some people it's religion for some people it might be so I don't really know, know what their trigger is I, I think that I think that so I think the trigger is imagine. I think I think from what I can see the trigger is very simple they see somebody insulting what they feel is Islam and they just react in a knee-jerk uh, reaction and they're thugs so they behave in a thuggish way right and, and the thing is, if I was to here to attack a particular football team and there was a supporter here, you know, he might have some words with me afterwards because <clears throat> that's what thugs do, right? So that's how we should see it in that light. But what we should not let it do, and I'm glad that you've said that, and I'm glad that you've actually even, um, uh, you know, been quite honest in a sense where you've said you don't even know whether well, they were Muslim. Have I ever not been honest? Well, we will have a propensity to twist the truth, right? But uh, we do. We do. Uh, we do, well, do we? well, you more so than others. <laughs> but anyway, but Steve, what I'm saying, hopefully, in the future, we can have discussions and, and, and debates and discussions. We, but in a, well, in, a, in, a, in, a in a nice way, in a cordial way, uh, and hopefully, despite maybe leaving with a disagreement, uh, we can we can you know be uh, noble adversaries rather than be adversaries where there is a, a genuine hatred or a, a dislike for a people or a, or a community as a whole, because I think that would be a, a very and positive let's, thing. Let's try and ensure that these noble discussions, as you describe them, don't, aren't portrayed as hateful or insulting. I hope so. Just by the fact that they're challenging dis points of disagreement. And that's fine. That doesn't constitute hate. You no, know, it doesn't. Or 
No, I, I, look, I totally agree. But you know, the thing here, the thing here this, is this, Steve, yeah? We do have now, unfortunately, now look, for example, and I, I'm not going to mention the name, we have an individual who comes here, wears a, a T-shirt of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. She's been coming here for months. She Years. Is, well, with the T-shirt on for, for many, many wow. months, right? <coughs> over a year. It's before lockdown. Okay, over a year, right? With that T-shirt on. Now, there are probably thousands of Muslims that she's encountered. Out of that, we've had, I think, one or two idiots. Whether they were Muslim or not, we don't know. Because uh, the first attack that slapped her, I heard from a good source that the police said that the guy wasn't Muslim. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not, but I heard it from a very, very good source, right? That the guy wasn't even Muslim. And she didn't press charges, yes? Now, the second incident or the third incident, again, the police were literally right there and they didn't catch the guy. I don't know how that happened, but uh, he wasn't caught. Now, the point I'm trying to make here is that if Muslims were this like, you know, uh, I'm not saying that you're saying this, but this is to the camp. If Muslims were like this violent, uh, radical uh, individuals, then she'd be attacked every single week, probably 10 times a day, right? But thankfully, most Muslims are intelligent enough and hopefully following their religion to a level whereby they realize that Islam does not allow this behavior, right? We're told to walk away. If somebody's jahil, they're ignorant, and that's walk often, away. And often perplex me because maybe less so in, in recent, very recent times, but she's swamped. There's always a swarm yeah, they should, of, I think of they Muslims should, around they should leave, they should leave I've her. never understood it's, 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 why they're not doing what you've just Well, I, they I wish do. they would because this is what our religion tells us to do, right? If somebody is truly, they're, 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 they have a lack of decorum, a lack of respect, uh, you know, their, uh, their arguments are, are, I would say, li literally in the gutter, they're filthy, then stay away because when you enter into that type of discussion, you come out dirty as well. You know, you can never remain clean around, uh, around that type of discussion. But I, I, w I wish they would walk away. But unfortunately, I think what, uh, what they're trying to do is they're, they're trying to antagonize. I mean, I saw one video where she uh, realized that somebody was triggered. The guy actually walked away. She went and followed him and she kept in his face and she kept doing that. Now, what, she, what she's trying to do, she's trying to get a reaction. He might push her or hit her or whatever it might be. And then they'll say, oh, look, oh, the poor victim, you know, uh, has just been attacked by these horrible, savage, nasty Muslims again. I mean, this is not right, right? This is, this is not, this is not a, a good but if, way. If your description of the scenario there is correct, <laughs> she's winning, isn't she? Uh, absolutely, I totally agree with you. Because uh, as I said to you, there are always going to be why and, can't you say that about the masked Muslims, though? Well, well, I'm, how, I'm, how I'm, can you compare her to well, the okay, okay, I'll compare Tan to the masked Muslims. You supported Tan. You said this is right. He used the most vulgar language out there. And you were his biggest supporter. That is, oh, well, and now, we're, we're now he like, was incredibly that, vulgar. That, that, he, I, like, he, I like this, Steve, because you, you are saying that you know it's free from Islam. Like I like this, Steve, because today you said it's free from Islam. You're not, free from he's not Mike. You probably didn't catch that. No, no. I like this, Steve, because you've been down here saying grooming gangs, Muslims are this, Muslims are violent. Today you're saying actually they don't represent Islam. You also you don't like vulgar language, but you were supporting no, Tam when, when for, for I, a no, year. When did I say I don't Tam like vulgar year? language? You said they use. Vulgar you do language. like vulgar language, Steve. I didn't say I don't like vulgar language. Well, you said they, you were one of your complaints about the masked Muslims is their vulgarness, their vulgarity. No, I didn't use that word. You didn't say I don't, that. I mean, you can be as vulgar as you want. I don't really. Oh, so we've got no issue with them then. I, well, no, they well, were no, threatening. They were being violent. Vul so okay. they were they were being they were intimidating. It's violent. Yeah, intimidating. yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, that was that was the, that was the whole point. Nothing about vulgarity. Mm. Yeah. Vulgarity has, like it or not, vulgarity has to be one part of free speech. So you support the masked Muslims' right to say whatever they want, no matter what the language is. You support that as long as it's as not long as threatening they don't come in your violence. face. And do it. Yeah, as long as it's not. But threatening so, so Steve, that's, that's my that's my red line for okay, free but, speech, so, and it's the law's oh, red oh, line. I think for free we could stop violence if we no, stopped but, okay. it before that. But, but okay, but Steve, I, I, like Steve, that Steve that I would the say victim is, is no, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong. Steve, Steve, Steve. If you're vulgar, no, no, you're kind of no, no. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. That's 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 Steve. I would say you're not saying vulgarity. Is understandably and sometimes going to lead from the low life. If I was going to go into your face, someone's violent. face, and shout a load of racist abuse at them, then I think I could be provoking a racist, uh, violent reaction. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about rape victims. No, of course not. But Steve, I'm saying, I, I, would, I would say freedom of speech, freedom of expression, right? I would say that at the funerals of the soldiers coming back from Iraq, yes, British soldiers. Uh, even though I passionately and emphatically disagree with what they did, and I think that they killed often probably many innocent people there, 
but I think it's grotesque and it's insulting to be burning poppies on their funerals, where their families are. But and Steve would support their now, right to do no, it. No, I, I wouldn't. Possibly, yes. I Possibly. wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, that's the way the difference. I wouldn't support the right. I would not support the right of people burning poppies at the funerals because, you know what, Steve? Even if you were to argue that those soldiers were horrid and they did what they did, what about their children? They're innocent. What about their wives? They're innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Number six, so, the man so, hasn't got space for anyone. So the point is, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, I would say... This is racism. <laughs> They're not giving the white man a single yeah. mic, you know? Yeah. Um, so, Steve, I would suggest that this form of freedom of speech or freedom of expression is unfortunately vulgar, it is disgusting, it's disgraceful, and... No, no, it could be a question, and, burning isn't and, free speech. And, is and, it's, and, it's and Steve, and this is like inciting, this is inciting hatred and division within community, and above all, and above yeah. all, Steve, okay. I would not stand up for that freedom, and I, don't, and, and, and I would hope that actually you would not stand up for that, because that is grotesque. There has to be limits, Steve. You can't just have... It, I would agree it's, it's grotesque and it's insulting. Would I, in statute, make it criminal? Not 100% certain. I, I, I would, Steve. I would. So that's socially unacceptable? No, I would. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's a subject of morality, isn't it? That's yeah. not a subject of the law. Uh, so, the cha so the chat, uh, the, Steve, the chat who, who urinated on the, uh, the uh, memorial... Uh, well, he, he did urinate on it. Well, he but he got he, he got jailed. He got jailed, right? Do you, do you think that what he did was acceptable? Well, urinating in public, full stop. I agree, but but he didn't get but he didn't get done for that though, did he? I don't remember the details. He got done for urinating on the memorial. What was the crime? The crime was that it was a, a, a yeah, but under what statute? Under what law? I can't remember, but it was seen as something that was against the national. Well, he got he got uh, a very harsh six month or a year or whatever. He went into, he went to prison, it, yeah. right? Now, what he, in fact, he got more of a punishment for doing that than people that graffitied and tried to burn the flags on the cenotaph. Yeah, which yeah. is a bit. Yeah, okay, fair enough. The law but isn't always applied. I, I, I understand, but what I'm trying to say, Steve, in any civil society, for there to be a, a level of cohesion, there has to be a level of decorum. There has to be a level of decorum. There has to be a level of respect, and. We can have our disagreements in the most passionate ways. However, we should not grotesquely try to insult uh, or, uh, an individual I mean, or their back religion. Going to Hatun, who you yeah. brought her up, yeah. so, so dwelling on her for a moment more, oh, she, has, she, she has been doing yes. what she's doing now yes. since pre-lockdown. Yes. So that yes. must make it more than two years. Right. Two yes. and a half years at least. Yes. And she's never been arrested, charged, convicted of doing yeah. anything. Yeah. So clearly, and the police see what she's doing, yes. they're standing next to her yes. on occasion. So yes. clearly, as repulsed and, yes. and everything else by it that you might be, yes. clearly what she's doing within the realms of the law. Yeah. Okay. So Steve, if she had a picture of a Jewish but man... It, no, she no, is no. doing what she's no, no, doing no. within the law. Okay, Do you okay. accept that point? Well, I would say that, yes, she is. Within the framework of the law, I would agree with you, right? Yeah. However, the law does say that you can't entice uh, 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 acts of uh, uh, violence or be grotesquely uh, you know, encouraging that type of behaviour. So there are some restrictions that you could apply. But, sure but, but let's put it this way, Steve. If she had a T-shirt on of a Jewish man d depicted with a large nose and a large ears, yes? With uh, holding money, counting money. Well, I'm afraid she, Jer Jeremy Corbyn right? and many of his ilk have done that ah, numerous times. Jeremy Corbyn has never been hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But she, but then she'd so be arrested. No, no, no. But Steve, but then she. But you're basically implying if you do the same towards Jews, you'll be banged. I'm in the saying, slammer. I'm well, saying that there no. is, I'm saying that there's not in, there is an inequality here. I'm saying well, there's Jeremy a, Corbyn there, and there his is, friends have got away well, with it. let's talk about Jeremy Corbyn afterwards. I'm talking about this specific incident. If she can wear a, a T-shirt of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in a very derogatory way, yes, yet she can insult my Prophet. But if she insults just a, a member of the community, a Jewish member of the community, by showing a Jew with a big nose and big ears and counting money, She'd get arrested. I'm not certain. Oh, she, she would, would do. Arrested, she would do. Which is why I bring up Jeremy Corbyn. Ah, Corbett. but she would do. You know, and, and, or under Ken and, Livingstone. Ah, but you know what? You know what, Steve? She would do under the under the. 
uh, well, under the law that. of anti-Semitism. People have done it. Anti-Semitism. Famous people. Famous politicians have done it. Steve. You would get arrested for anti-Semitism. Why wasn't the Jeremy Corbyn the arrested? If I so, listen Why to me, why wasn't Ken Livingstone arrested? What, did Jeremy Corbyn uh, wear a T-shirt with a they with a both, Jew? Whether it was on Twitter or in, in or in posters or in other avenues, they have both yeah. put out yeah. anti-Semitic. Okay, so we can talk about that polit politics. We can talk about the politics for one side, but let's just deal with the issue that no, we're talking. My, I'm well, just using them well, as fairly famous. No, no. But Steve, Notorious example of people let, that have let, put out anti-Semitic pictures of Steve, men with big noses my, my, counting my, my, money. My, my point that I'm trying to make to you, and I and it, it was a specific mural Steve, Steve, of, of people with Steve, big noses counting let's, money. Let's, let's, let's not that, um, let's not get carried away Jeremy with a different Corbyn discussion. Supported. The discussion no, that I'm we're not. You uh, what, up I'm showing you, I'm sho I'm demonstrating to you the inequality of the legal framework that we have in this country. You have people like Douglas Murray who says. We need to make life difficult for Muslims in Europe. If I said, not that I ever would, because it would be a, a truly vulgar thing to say, that we need to make life difficult for Jews in Europe, I would be arrested for that. I'm not sure you would. I would probably be arrested for that. Because that would that would send alarm people bells. People are doing that all the time. There are people on the true far right who do come out. There are people on the far left that come out with that. Okay. So my point to you, Steve, so is people it, do do so it, my point to you, and they're not all slammed up. So, so Steve, my point to you is that that demonstrates that there is an inequality. What you can say no, about no, Muslims? You're theorising that if you said or did any of those things, you'd be immediately arrested. I'm giving you examples of people that have done it that haven't been arrested. No, because you're comparing so chalk with is, cheese. No, no, you're, you are. you're said if you no. put out an anti-Semitic yeah. picture yes. or said something like, you know, the, the, the alleged Douglas Murray quote, yes. if you said that to Jews, you would be immediately arrested. I, I probably and would I'm giving be, yes. you examples where people haven't been No, because your arrested. examples are not uh, an analogy with, with a glove fit. Your analogy well, one of the examples is you gave was, your analogy was a picture of men with big noses yes, counting money. Yes, yes. And bizarrely, that's a precise image yes. that, um, that I think it was Ken Livingstone. Right, so, so, so you, the incident that you're referring to, the reason why it's not a glove fit, is that when they questioned Jeremy Corbyn and they asked him that, did you know that this was depicting, or this could be depicting oh, Jews? He, denied he said, look, it was a Facebook post, it was something I just clicked on and I didn't really... Now, the point is this. I don't believe that there are really British, the general British public believe that Jeremy Corbyn is an anti-Semite and he hates Jews. I really don't think people believe that. Now the point is, despite not believing that, why was there this campaign against him? That's a whole, that's another kettle of fish, that's a, that's a whole new discussion. Why do you describe it as a campaign against him? It was a campaign against the Labour Party. If you look at the works of the political uh, 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 professor, uh, 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 no, Professor Norman Finkelstein and what he commented on this campaign against Corbyn and Labour he attributed it directly to the Israeli lobby and the very fact that Corbyn Israeli and the Labour lobby, Israeli right, lobby okay, yes uh, we are going off on a no 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 but you've asked me now you've opened up but you've opened up so I'm giving you the opinion of a a, a professor of politics, it was an, Professor it was an Norman Israeli Finkelstein, lobby behind okay. the criticism no, no. of Jeremy Corbyn. Right, and I'll, and I'll, well, if, well I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I, I, I've got the evidence. I'll tell you why, right? Because Jeremy Corbyn was highlighted as a danger to Israel because he openly spoke against the uh, settlements. Tell me, tell me you're not a Jeremy Corbyn settlements. Fan. I'm not a fan of anybody, but if but I won't but I won't slander somebody. And I won't, flander, I, won't, I won't slander Jeremy Corbyn, right? Uh, as, I don't agree with what Jeremy Corbyn says, or he does, or his political views, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to allow people to call him an anti-Semite and an anti-Jew and, 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 you know, oust him from the Labour Party as a consequence. Those were political moves and they were made specifically because Jeremy Corbyn very openly, except, except the no, honestly, Human Rights Commission honestly, that investigated very the openly, under him, we, concluded babe, that uh, it James, was. James, uh, 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 sorry, my name right. uh, Steve. There no, are there the are, say, Steve, Human Rights Commission Steve, investigated Steve, it and found we it know, to be proven. Steve, we but you Steve, know more than you the know, equality. No, I tell you what. I tell you what. We shouldn't be naive. Yes. We shouldn't so, be naive. The Equality we, and Human we, Rights Commission we should, also. We shouldn't be naive. By yeah, we shouldn't be naive. Don't be naive. Uh, you know, just because we I'm just be, this point, just I'm because we label a con we just because we label an organisation. Their job. And we automatically. Is to ensure equality and fairness. And, 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 and they cannot and be influenced. 
So they were influenced by I'm Israel. I'm asking you, can they not be influenced? Were they influenced no, by no. Israel? No, no. I asked you a direct question. Can they not be influenced? Anybody can be influenced, right? You got the money, you got the political connection. Just like, uh, just like uh, our our friend uh, or not so friendly, let's say, uh, Pretty Patel. Yes. What does Pretty Patel do when she, uh, uh, you know, was under Who's the Premiership? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen, just, just bear with me, right? When Theresa May was going to sack her, and she had to resign. Why did she resign? She had, I think, 14 secret meetings with senior Israeli officials without, we'd be getting on without, the no, 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 without her government even knowing, without her government even knowing. So you're telling me government can't be influenced? And, and now, despite resigning, yes, she was rewarded by our prime minister now, Mr. Boris, yes, and she's been awarded a, a more senior position than what she had. And you're telling me people can't get influenced and if people don't get influenced? Of course they get influenced. Of course they do. Blows into many different territories. Already done that. Well, Too late now. Well, we both perhaps do so. so it's